You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. We're gonna play Colin McRae Rally 2.0 on the PlayStation Classic. Let's see how it performs. This is one of the... Well, actually, one of... There's a lot of racing games that I love during the PlayStation 1 days, and this is uh, one of my favorites, other than, say, Gran Turismo or Ridge Racer. Although this is more for rally fans. And let's see how it performs. Um, of course, I'll just turn on the show FPS. And no more tweaking, just to see how it goes. And as usual, no problems with cutscenes. So I'm going to go ahead and start that out already. I do believe that this was a long-running series, although I don't think there is any new one um, for the last how many, how many years. Alright. I'll just try a single stage. Since it's been a while since I've played this, I'm just gonna take it easy. Mm. As I previously noticed, uh, every time the resolution switches to 480, 480p is it, um, it's not as smooth as it should be. Okay. I will go ahead and go with the... Uh, just to show you what cars are in here. Subaru, Seat, Ford, Mitsubishi, Toyota. I'm gonna go ahead with the Subaru Impreza here. And uh, let's see. Finland, Greece, France, Sweden. I'll just go with Finland. On a bright day. And I'll be honest, the last time I played this was, mm, I don't know, more than a decade ago. <laughs> so please bear with my performance. All right. The graphics have not aged well, that's for sure. And, uh, how do I change view? Okay, here. Oh, it's slippery than I remember. Well, not a good display of driving here, but you'll probably have an idea how the game performs. Um, it actually plays okay. Frame rate is stable. That could probably be even better if you've done some tweaking. If you notice any clipping on the graphics that's actually how it was on the game even back then as far as i remember ah uh, but yeah i remember this is really how it went before except the graphics are greenier than i remember Probably needs a like a CRT filter, maybe. Oops. In case you're wondering, you actually need to perform repairs on your car after each race. 
so if you made a lot of bumps you're gonna have a hard time finishing the next race unless you chose like the arcade mode I think When it comes to rally though, I still prefer Sega Rally, of course, the arcade classic. Uh, okay, second place by two seconds. And let's all check the replay and uh, laugh at how bad I am at this game. Well, it's been a while. The graphics is not as clean as, say, Ridge Racer 4, but it's not that bad, actually, for a uh, PS1 era game. The replay is uh, less is a uh, less dynamic than the replays of uh, Gran Turismo or even Ridge Racer. But yeah, I could see myself playing this game some more. Um, I'm not into racing games that much these days. The the last racing game that I really played was. Um, I think it was Forza 3? Oh, or is it 4? That's actually a nice game. Well, anyway... Um, Regarding performance, it I, th I do believe it plays great, but it um, for the for this game specifically, it really depends if you're into uh, rally racing, because if you are, then this is this is a must-have, and it should be on your collection loaded in the PlayStation Classic. It's not as as mainstream or as essential as say Gran Turismo where everyone should have it loaded at least but it's definite for racing fans and that's it for this video I uh, thanks for watching please do like comment and subscribe catch me more for videos trying out PlayStation 1 on the classic. Thanks for watching.